Hey guys! On my last subscription box tutorial, I asked if you would like to see a loot crate or something similar, and a bunch of you said yes, so I really hope you'll enjoy. For this one, I chose to include items inspired by Pikachu, Harlequin, Batman, Deadpool, and Groot. For Harlequin, I started out by making half and then pre-baked before making the other half. I first made the head, and this is a fairly basic square or rectangular shape. Then you just want to add some hair, her eyes, and a nose. After pre-baking that, I started working on the body and I pre-baked this and added some clay to the back before attaching the arms. After adding clay to the back of the head, you can add the pigtails and then use a small amount of clay to attach it to the body. If you want, you can use some liquid clay to strengthen the joints and then after baking, you can add the details using acrylic paint. Finish off with a matte glaze. To make the Pikachu hat, I first measured and cut the basic shape. Then sew it along the bottom edge to make it look neat. and then sew two pieces together. And you want to make sure to leave two spaces for the ears. To make the ears, I just glued together two pieces of fabric for each, and then glued it onto the hat. I used some embroidery thread to make some strings and pom-poms. For the design, I mixed acrylic paint and fabric medium, but you can also use normal fabric paint. To make the Groot inspired keychain, you want to start out with a thin sheet of black clay and then make the pattern itself using white clay.
Once you're done, cut it out and bake. After baking, I painted it using acrylic paint and then glued on a piece of chain and a jump ring. Obviously you can attach the chain and jump ring like you normally would, so if you're doing it this way make sure to use a really strong glue. Deadpool is one of my personal favorites so I had to include him as well. First you want to cut some pieces of paper in the size you want the sheets of the notebook, add glue to one side making sure that all the pages stick together and then glue it onto a piece of cardstock. Trim off any excess and then lastly you can paint the logo using acrylic paint. Lastly, I made a super simple makeup or pencil pouch. For this one, I chose to glue instead of sewing. So I just used some blue fabric and some red ribbon. And then of course you want to finish off by painting the logo. Finally, for the box I just made it the same way as in my Pusheen subscription box video, so I'm going to link that in the info box if you haven't seen it. Really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next tutorial.